We recovered artifact technology from the wreck of the Ashoka and have run it through our diagnostics. The advanced cooling system the Galcene have been using to endure the deep desert heat is unlike anything Coalition scientists have been able to develop. I found a way to merge their tech with our existing thermal control assembly, allowing us to shunt additional power to weapons and armor while simultaneously increasing our repair abilities and targeting range. We also uncovered the existence of a Gaussian military base at the edge of the Dune Sea. Adjacent to the base is a resourcing operation. Similar to the plan of attack we used against the Ashoka, the Sakala will engage the enemy first, then pull back, drawing as many defenders away as possible. The Kapisi will then move in and shut down their resourcing operation before turning her attention to the base itself. operations immediately. The cooling system recovered from the Ashoka has been installed. We are reading a significant boost in reserve power. Advance to Mark CUs. Reporting. The Ashoka's EMP technology has been adapted to my base runner as a ranged device. For armor. Any target caught in the impact zone will be completely disabled, though recharge time is a concern. Gun. Runner copies. Strike copies. Proceed with Our strategy is working. The Sakala confirms they've drawn away much of the outpost's defenses. We need to work quickly to secure the area. Systems currently active. Alright, all right, full power sensors. Armor systems active. And armor systems inoperative. Yeah, I guess repair systems. Be advised. Actually, armor. Repair systems online. Weapon systems offline. All right. Armor systems active. So. Hi, guys. Uh, so, in the time that you've seen, I guess, me playing this. Um, between now and the last episode, I've actually completed the entire game on normal difficulty. Because uh, I just, I basically wanted to... I kind of wanted to play beforehand, just so I kind of knew what I was doing. I basically decided that hard was... Well, the difficulty I'm playing on is, is hard enough that... I, I definitely should basically play beforehand, so, just so I have a better idea of what I'm doing. Alright, we can take out that production cruiser with the bomber. Launch bomber. Bomber on deck. Set so, what did I learn? I learned quite a number of things that I will teach you, and also that I, I finally found out what my gripe was with uh, some of the stuff with this game. CU's exhausted. This is the CU site exhausted. A patrol guarding the Gaussian resourcing operation has been alerted to our presence. Battle sensors indicate this force is heavily armed against both air and ground engagements. Clear to move and engage. EMP charged and ready to go. Time for a field test. We really need to use it though. A Gaussian salvager group is falling back to the main complex. Carrier is taking fire. Alert. And our new site has been exhausted. All right. Let's bring uh. Bring her in. Runner copies. Interceptor taking fire. So the thing I've learned is rail guns need to kind of be, and they're like everything needs to kind of follow the rail guns. To be honest. Okay. I don't. I don't. Think, I don't think she needs to. No, 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 that's Hostile not support. Alert. Is under A second group of Gaussian shipbreakers is retreating toward the base. There we go. We impede them. I think I just made these guys be some retarded. Oh, no, I didn't. Moving. I go over there. The remaining Gaussian shipbreakers are falling back to the safety of the base. Ready for order. Enemy salvager destroyed. Up ready. Move out. Get us underway. Crew ready. PC can't go through here, unfortunately. Don't know why, but it just can't. We've gained a foothold in the excavation site, yet heavy turret emplacements block our advance. Their visibility and firing arc is limited, 
However, they are equipped with heavy caliber rounds and are well armored. Get racial into the base, but make every attempt to outflank them. A direct assault would result in significant casualties. Those heavy turrets are operated from centralized control towers. Art of targeting the control towers with an EMP burst should temporarily disable the turrets. Use Rachel's EMP on turret control towers. Yeah, I'll do that in a minute. So the thing with the uh, the demolition charges, I didn't realize Artifact is that it's not the recovered. base runners that have them. Confirmed. It's the salvagers that do, and not this not this one. This is the the salvager I took over, adding to the confusion. It's this salvager has a demolition charge. The ones I can make. I'm gonna also make two more salvagers. We got strike strikecraft production efficiency, and we're gonna EMP that asshole. Reading you. Railgun reading you. On our way. Target set. A railgun. Alert. A fleet is taking fire from heavy turret emplacements. Uh, that's fine. The railgun. The railgun yes. can take it. Take it. Worked. Turrets disabled. Be advised. Targeting control towers is more effective than targeting individual turrets. Keep right. eyes out for targets. Now we're good. Combat relay. Hostile cruiser eliminated. Just let these guys do whatever they want. Attention. I'm ready. Time to clear out. Be ready to engage. This reminds me of this heavy turret here. I mean, it's it, it's basically disabled ready. permanently. But yeah, we don't we don't really have to worry about it. And I can also queue up this stuff I've realized. CU deposit depleted. Reading. Be advised. Gaussian signatures detected exiting the main complex. I also should make a lot more railguns because the thing I've realized is railguns are pretty good. Uh, they're they're pretty good guys. They they're nice people. Advance to mark CUs. Pretty nice people. Real guns. I don't know. It's, it's, it's not just a meme. It's like they, they are actually pretty good. And you just made the Arkham armor to still kind of babysit them. Clear to move and engage. But we must work quickly to secure the complex. The Sakala's diversionary engagement remains uncertain. Get Rachel inside the outpost immediately so she can begin gathering intelligence. Research completed. Advise deploying a support cruiser alongside Rachel to repair any damage sustained by turret fire. Are you done, game? Okay. The, g the game keeps talking to me, and uh, you. and uh, I, I can't get a word in. Anyway, so See you field depleted. I think I realized some of the issues I have with this game so far, and it's mostly the fact that as I, I think I mentioned that the UI here is very much for or like, kind of the homeworld 3D space games. It does not make sense any anyway here because there's like no mini map or anything. The mini map is essentially going into the sensors See manager, which you know, granted, like, how do you make a minimap in a 3D space game? You know, the sensors manager worked really well for that. Enemy contacts on the board. In this you game, not so much. Under fire. I'm ready. Hostile railgun. Moving up. Armored vehicle is taking fire. Reading. Smoke screen. Fuck up. Good gun. Railguns. Alert. Railgun down. You know what? A strike craft destroyed. Fighter approach vector dialed in. Is what we're gonna do. Attack or set. Coordinates confirmed. Uh, actually, no. Armor, go ahead. Keep doing this. We, we have fighters for this way. fucking shit. Why don't we? We shouldn't even bother with this. Strike fighter approach vector dialed. Enemy real gun eliminated. Attack or set. CU field expended. And be ready. Make ready. All right, we're probably we're, we're probably good now. But I think they're gonna just finish that guy up. Reading. Why even bother losing anything? You know. This is Rachel. That's go my ahead. question. We have eyes on an artifact. Stand by. Moving. Alright, where's, where's this guy? Oh, there. Artifact That's right, I can just click the icon for that. I forgot about that now. Alright. Uh, I'll scale. So, one of the things we're going to make is we're going to make another support cruiser to follow these guys in. Just because Rachel can't always, like, handle everything. And we can also get a missile battery now, which is, missile batteries are pretty good. You can use a couple of those. It's just anti-air vehicle. That's all that is. We, get, we can take, like, uh, four of them and just have them follow the rail guns. Uh, how much do they cost, though? Missile batteries have been upgraded Enough. with a mortar launch system. Green line confirmed. But we do want another support cruiser. Support cruiser now operating. Just follow these guys. Gaussian signatures detected exiting the main complex. Control group ten designated. 
Displace to that CU field. And maybe two of these guys ready. can go get the blue ones. On scanner. Conducting sweep. Why didn't no one get that one? We need we need our use too. Because there's no rush for the Mineral campaign. Because if I rush, then I might not get all the resources here. So that's why we don't rush. Rushing is bad. Uh, but we can kind of go get some of this stuff, so we're, we're okay with that, get actually. Missile battery operation. Is there more railguns here? Railgun yeah, there's two more. Fleet group one assigned. Time to clear out. Be ready to engage. Yeah, these ready. these guys will kind of guard gun. on that guy. So the railguns are kind of like our main attack group. Also, these icons I refer to their rank and their ranks can kind of give you... Gives you an idea right here, like this guy is a... Uh, his kind of experience is rank 3, and so he can get, he has plus 2 to arm, uh, 200 of vehicle haul. He'll get some armor later, and then, and then captain. And this is assault ships and shit. So we're gonna put a bomber on these guys. Bomber set for launch. Go for range. Armor vehicle taking alert. The fleet is taking fire from heavy turret emplacements. Yeah, the fucking, I, I, I didn't want the turrets to fire on these guys. Because the armored assault are retarded. Ah, it's fine though. Alright, it's fine. Alright. Rachel needs to get her ass over here. Also, what was the other thing we got? Oh, we got a cooling system upgrade. And that's the strike craft uh, logistics dude that we got as well. See you site exhausted. So, so yeah, some workers are just gonna heal everyone, which is good. He's got like an Where's AoE command? heal, I'm pretty sure. That's something similar to that. So, yeah, talking about the census manager again. I, I think my gripe with that was, I was basically like, Oh, hey. Oops. Uh, let's, let's start one second. I was like, oh, hey, uh, you know. I don't know, it doesn't make sense, because for this, I'm like, I'm always zoomed out, it seems. So, like, they made some really beautiful, like, vehicles like this, but like, you gotta, you gotta position yourself in such a way where you can see everything, right? Because otherwise, when I'm looking like this, I'm like, I, you can't tell what the fuck's going on. These guys are getting fucked up. So, like, you don't want to ever look at it like this, and the, like the dust goes out and stuff like that. It is actually a really nice looking game when you, when it, when you, when it really comes down to it. Uh, even though it's like it's the deserts of Karak kind of thing. Also, I want to bring these guys down. Guard set on railgun. Rail All right. Let's build some more railguns, actually, because I'm not a very unique person. Be advised, Gaussian signatures detected exiting the main complex. So basically, between attack waves, I don't know if we can see them. They're like over here somewhere. So, and that brings it to one of my other gripes. Usually, the game wants you to kind of focus on someone. And then you kind of look up at, uh, like, let's say that there's an attack group here. I need to, like, move my map over here. There's no mini-map in this game, so I can't really, without going to the map, I can't just focus here. Can't, well, actually, apparently I can. If I just double-click there. Oh, interesting. Okay. Still, it's just, it's kind of awkward, because it's like, you got to open up the census manager to do that. Like, that, that, that has been kind of one of my gripes. The UI made sense for the, t the time that it was, uh, like, the time that the 3D space thing was a thing. But this is a, this is a 2D, uh, kind of like a 2D RTS game, so it, it doesn't make so much sense to me. Why is it, why did this guy join us? Is he, uh, he doesn't get selected, so. Go for range. Hop ready. Armor vehicle taking effective fire. Enemy rear guns firing on friendly. Strike fighter approach vector dialed in. Green line confirmed. Hostile range craft destroyed. We don't have to do much with that. Real gun reading. This guy just disabled them all because Rachel has a bullshit ability. I really like the strike fighters though. So the thing about the strike fighters is more of them in the hangar are actually pretty worthwhile if you if you're constantly using them for long range. Which I don't always. What enemy armor is on approach? Oh, these guys. It's a lot of guys. Standing by. I would like to disable this thing, but actually I don't think I even need to because the railguns are long range, so it doesn't really matter. Your PC needs to finish making uh, railguns though. Construction resources exhausted. Where's all my guys? Oh, they're right here. Is my support cruiser 
Support cruiser is up there. CU field expanded. Now that's the kind of thing I I, I kind of miss from the other home world. Control group one designated. Is the fact that Gaussian signatures detected exiting the main complex. You could make a. I haven't realized a way, but you can't make a drag select box with with guarding. It seems you just guard one unit. So. That was one thing you could do in, in Homeworld 1, where, where it maintained like an equal distance, but then again, it wasn't incredibly useful. You still have to like micromanage your harvesters, basically. There's nothing you can do about that. And what do we have over here? Okay, we got some uh, sad skirmisher. Battle report. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Hostiles designated. Strikers assigned. Ready. Target locked. What the hell is this? CU deposit depleted. Why is there another fleet coming in? Push through. Enemy armor is safe. Be ready to engage. The rail gun is taking mass. effective fire. Guard position on that oh, rail gun. Rachel needs to be over here. Armor vehicle is taking fire. Go for orders. Runner. That's why we have this fork reserve here. Actually, that guy just fucked off, so... Uh, I, I, as I said, I don't know why he's here, to be honest. I, that didn't really happen the first time I played through this, but okay. Time to clear out. Be ready to engage. Standing by. Move order confirmed. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. So this next one has like a turret control tower here and like two heavy turrets here. This one's like in a weird like if I show you this, it's kind of you can see it's being blocked by the building and the the, the terrain there. So what we are going to do is we're going to just send Rachel here and then and just strike fighters and bombers are going to handle it. Ready to burn. Just that guy. EMP has taken effect. Enemy turrets offline. Because I, I there's really no point in me trying to handle that. Tracking and I'm going to strafe around it. Be advised. Gaussian signatures detected exiting the main complex. The bomber may have been on the, the bombers like to die, unfortunately. Because they're, they're not like the strike fighters that kind of fuck off. Like, you're going to notice he's going to go right into that group here. Oh, there you go. And he's just fucking dead. Alright, where's the other bomber? I have absolutely no idea. Can I remake bombers? No, but that's okay. I don't, need, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need to. I don't need to make that though. This is Rachel. Go ahead. Rachel needs to join these guys though. We got something on the horizon. Waiting for eyes on to attend. I like the strike fighters way better than I like uh, anything else. I don't need these heavy railguns. These guys suck. Actually, they're okay. I think the damage is. Okay, where, where's Rachel? Armor vehicle taking effective Pockets. fire. EMP. EMP then. I don't know why I didn't start with that. Go. I mean, there's another group right here, but we're gonna have to handle that a little bit later. CU exhausted. Reading. I would like to get some more railguns though. I won't lie. CU field expanded. Fleet capacity capabilities are now at maximum. Yeah, there you go. go now we're at maximum. Actually, you know, we, uh, this is this this group we have here is fine for this, so. Uh, where's, uh, Rachel? Rachel is still Get us underway. getting her shit going, so we're gonna just wait. On our way. Oh, boy. Okay, let's run this way and rail gun go over here and attack them. We got a rail gun under fire. Rachel is nowhere near these guys. Officer on route. Move out. Maybe I'll just pl maybe I'll have to play a scanner somewhere. Verified. But... Uh, I totally missed. Light attack vehicle detected. Armored vehicle is taking fire. Ah, we got a ball anyway. It's all good. Uh, as I said, the, 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 the game doesn't control necessarily the best. But yeah. It's a fun game though, don't get me wrong. I think the controls were just better than like an actual homeworld game. I mean, it, I, I mean, technically it's an actual homeworld game, but you know, fucking semantics, guys. Come on. As I said, I overall like the game even, even after finishing it. So we'll, we'll get through the entire thing. So she's just gonna go to the Gaussian mill post below. Goodbye, Rachel.
moving inside. Roger that. Be careful, Rachel. Rachel, what is your team's status? Status report. I've disabled the outpost's remaining turret emplacement. The Gaussian database is extensive, however. I'll need more time to extract it. Excellent work. Keep us updated. Intel, I've ID'd a Gaussian Honor Guard cruiser in one of the outpost service hangars. It can be integrated into our fleet. The Honor Guard cruiser is located here. Send a support cruiser to recover it. We can expect a Gaussian counterattack to reclaim the base shortly. Eliminate all remaining Gaussian forces and defend Rachel's position. This is the captain. We're not full on RUs yet. The sorry, not full on. The fleet is at maximum capacity. Fleet capacity yet. Well, now we are. Salvage your copies. Oh, it looks RU like the salvagers are basically done. We'll just get the RUs the site, and then we're done. Got hostile on sensors. Confirm visual. Tracking armored craft on approach. Receiving smoke screen. Copy that. Enemy real gun firing on friendly. Make ready. Unidentified Strike craft on approach. So we're gonna just yeah. send a bunch of Attack things sensor in. Dialed in. We're in the fight. Alert. Missile battery four. lost. Armored vehicle is taking. Missile fire. battery lost. Why? Where are, where are my missile batteries? I was like three of them there. Strike craft destroyed. Armor copies. It says strike craft destroyed. I don't think it means my strike craft. No, because mine are still up. It means their strike craft. That always worries me, you know. Hostile range craft destroyed. Alright, that guy's good. That, that guy's done for. The Galaxy have exposed their fuel source and it's off the charts. It's only a matter of time before it blows. Rachel, you and your team need to evacuate. Now. Fleet Group 1 assigned. With the amount of data they've collected, they may know what the primary anomaly is. Rachel, it's not worth it. Get your team out of there. I can do this. Just be ready for me when I'm done. Oh, apparently I'm at 121. Too easy. Do you copy? We copy, Sakala. Go ahead. We lost transmission, Captain. The Gaussian forces have split into two groups and are advancing towards the main complex perimeter. They are forming a blockade around the facility to prevent our escape from the blast. Clear a path through the blockade for Rachel to escape. Cruiser the captured Honor Guard cruiser is equipped with a manually targeted railgun. Use it to break the blockade. Marked armor. Moving to escort position. You know, it says manually targeted railgun, but he actually really doesn't have that. Hostile He's got hold railgun fire. Hostiles designated. Trackers outside. Enemy light attack vehicle marked on approach. The railgun oh, is oh boy. Enemy production cruiser you know what? Let's just fucking send all the fucking Strike ships here. We got we have our nice railgun here though. This guy's, this guy's cool as shit. Look, look, look at this guy. Alert, railgun down. An RU site has been depleted. I think I think we're actually losing because of uh various reasons. Oh never we won, never mind. There's gonna be another one here, but it's okay, because we'll just we'll just run away with Rachel when she comes when she comes up. Go ahead. We also lost like one railgun. It's a very sad story, guys. A moment of silence for our railguns that could not be with us today. And it looks like our, our harvesters are done. Send message. Provide escort for that railgun. There's the blast radius. Op ready. I said she'll be able to get out of there. She's just gonna fucking book it. Database extraction complete. Clearing the outpost hangar now. Alert. Siege all units. Evacuate the main complex. Say again. The fleet must clear the main complex. Now there, Rachel. Go, go. Alert. Rachel is at 75% hull <laughs> integrity. Dude, she's fine. Get out of here. Move. We're bailing. We something on the horizon. Waiting for eyes on to authenticate. Full power. Move. 
Good, good thing she has that EMP, I'm gonna tell you that much. That's it. Personal log. Intelligence officer Nathan Sajet. Expedition carrier Capisi. The Galcian. Ghosts of the desert. We learn more about our enemy with each passing day. Rachel says they believe in a terrible place where their god, Sajuk, placed his people as punishment for their sins. They refer to it as Kartoba, or First City. They believe their spiritual and military leader the Kahad Sajuk will become the instrument of God's will and ascend to rule over all of Karak once he enters the temple of Kartoba. Is there a kernel of truth hidden amongst these myths? And if so, what is it? Alright guys, that's all the time we got for today. Hope you're enjoying. Take care.